Alrighty, guys and gals. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I am Big E, and we are back in City Skylines. Yes, we are. Season number four for us. And I'm glad to be back. I've been gone for two weeks. I've not played any games for two weeks, not been on the computer for two weeks, done nothing. I haven't even looked at any of my comments over the last two weeks. I know I have a bunch between all of the Let's Plays. I'm going to get to those today. I'm gonna. I'm really looking forward to that. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday, wonderful Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, really do. Happy New Year! I believe this comes out on January first, twenty twenty-three. Happy New Year, everybody. Yes, sir. Anyway, as mentioned, we're back in City Skylines. I'm kind of out of practice. <laughs> Yep, so hopefully everything goes smoothly. It looks like I'm recording and all that good stuff. So I honestly don't know what we did last episode. <clears throat> I think I may have just added some new houses and things like that. Who really knows? I've got a little water treatment area over here. You know, just kind of got a little bit creative. And then we've, we're also working on what well, we're going to work on. <clears throat> excuse me. A water treatment facility over here. Now, I might wait till I unlock this tile over here. We'll see. But uh, what we're going to focus on this episode is we're going to migrate this generic industry area over to this uh, area over here. And it's still going to be it's going to be a polluting area. But if I recall, let me look at our boy, I'm rusty. Where are my resources? Natural resources. Yeah, this should be ore. We're going to make an ore industry right here. It's a perfect pocket. We have access to the highway, kind of. I mean, I this is a collector road, I would call this. This is the highway, but um, we'll work it out. But uh, we also have access to the train, to the rail. It's right there. Yeah. Uh, but looking at our demands, our wants down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very sorry. Um, we have a high demand for residential. So what we're going to do, we're going to call this. I did rename this Seaside as estates and i just couldn't think of anything else <laughs> we're going to call this a complete neighborhood we're not going to do anything else in here although i have a little area right here maybe put a park here i think i remember what we did last episode we put a university in with some walking paths looks like for the most part people are using except for this crossover i could fix that by running this down but i'm just going to leave it for now now one thing i noticed when i started the game up today they said that five new options have been added in graphics right here. I think it's here. Yeah, here we go. So before you had temperate, uh, boreal, tropical, European, maybe warm, but it looks like we've got cold, dark, faded. And maybe warm is one of the new ones. I've not tried any of these yet. So if you don't know what this is, I'll show you really quick. Let me pause the game because uh, our demand's getting a little crazy there. So right now we have no color correction. If you go into options, go to graphics. Let's try, let's try vibrant. And then you can kind of see what it does. I don't really like that one. It doesn't actually look vibrant to me. Let's try it. Let's just kind of see all of these. There's warm. Yeah, it, looks, it, make, it makes it look kind of fuzzy to me. We might stick with neutral. Let's see what... Uh, actually, we weren't. We were on none. Let's see what neutral looks like. I didn't actually mean to apply that. That's right. We can change it. Yeah, all of these kind of... Uh, they tone it down a little bit. We got some weird shine happening, too. Hope you guys don't mind. Let's see what uh, faded is. Like, almost no difference there between neutral. If you look out here is what I'm looking at. Not much difference there. What about dark? Okay. It's a little bit too dark. I don't know. It might actually be better. Uh, so dark isn't uh, too bad. I like dark. What about cold? Cold. It's cold outside, baby. That's kind of nice. I actually like this a little bit better than dark because it just it tones it down just a, a tad without being too dark. We might stick with this one. But I want to run through all of these. I've never seen them before. No, I know what all of these are. Okay, so that's all. That's the five new ones. 
So we may as well, I'll go European here. European brightens it up a little bit. That's too much, right? That's just insane. And so one of the one of the reasons this may not look the same if on if you're playing a map, I have an overall theme called Seychelles. One of my subscribers let me know how to pronounce that. I think it's an African word. Seychelles. Uh, so I have an overall theme applied to the map. So that's why it might look different. And that's probably why we're getting some of this weird looking stuff here. Tropical doesn't really work here. Temperate. Yeah. So it's either going to be none or cold. Let me apply the cold. What do you guys think about that? Let me know if that's okay. I think we'll stick with that for right now. Is there an actual difference between... Sorry, I'm wasting all this time. Let me go back to none. So there is a difference for sure. All right, we're going to stick with none. It's the colors just kind of pop. So let me get off of that. Anyway, I just saw that today when I, when I loaded the game. So kind of cool. So we're going to work on a new neighborhood. We're going to call this one complete. And we're going to slowly migrate this industrial area over to here. This is the Paradise Water Treatment. The whole uh, island, if you will, is called Paradise. Yeah. Now, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I'm looking at what I have to work with. I can purchase another tile. I just don't, I don't feel like I need to purchase another tri uh, tile yet. Daffodil Square? <laughs> All right, I'm just going to leave this name because that's going to go away. What we're probably going to do, start a new neighborhood like right in here. And then this will do something over here when that disappears. But let me think about how I can start this new neighborhood. I think what we'll do. Hmm. I'm just trying, I'm figuring access here to the interstate. And I might change this railroad. In fact, I'm going to change the railroad up a little bit here. I'm going to hug the, I want to hug this, uh, the highway here a little bit more. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Picker? Uh-oh. Rut row shaggy. Now I saw a list of incompatible mods. Is this not working anymore? That's working. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So... What I was trying to do there, I used my picker tool down here to select the railroad track, but you don't have access to the railroad track, I'm pretty sure, until you lay down a train station. We've not... Okay. <laughs> I can't. We haven't unlocked it yet. That, so the tool didn't know what to do because I don't have the railroad unlocked yet. So um, that's okay. I'll take this opportunity to to do what this is kind of a crazy junction in here i'm just trying to think of the best way to lay um an inter uh an interchange in here for a neighborhood so let me look at how this works here so if people coming uh, we'll call this westbound if this is north up here we'll call this westbound if people are coming westbound Okay, they can get off the interstate here, but they'd have to come all the way around to get into this neighborhood. And that's not ideal. I don't want people running around uh, in our industrial area over here. If they came up this way. Okay, well, they can just, they can exit here. No, that's one way. What about on this side? How do they, how do they do it on this side? They could, there's, there's no way to get over. Yeah, there's no way to get over. So I've got to put my own interchange in here. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. I really hate to mess with this beautiful work this guy has done. If they're coming eastbound, it's not a problem. They just jump off the interstate right here. Uh, and they can roll right down this way. Maybe I can make a bridge here. I'll figure something out for people westbound. And then people who want to leave, how do they leave? No trouble going eastbound. They come out here. They roll around this way. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. Boy, that's a beautiful bridge. I'm going to have to break it, I think. Let me see. What would... 
Let me look at the interchange. So here's mine. It's, oh boy, it's really large, isn't it? I could fit it in there. We just have to take the bridge back. Now, oh boy, yeah, that's a problem. Unless I put it way up this way. Do I want to do this? I have the game saved. If I don't like, if I don't like how this turns out, um, we uh, we can always revert. Let me get rid of these boulders, and let me see. Let's see what we can do here. So let's break here. Oh no! Oh, it's one span. I can't actually delete this. The reason I can't delete this is because this piece is tied in here. Like, the junction is somewhere way over here, so he's used a mod to lay this in. That uh, I think that's what's happening there. Okay, well, that changes a few things. This neighborhood's going to have to change a little bit then, I think. Unless I create my own, I'll probably just create my own. The other option is to purchase this tile. And I don't really want to purchase this yet. You know what? I am going to purchase it because I don't really want to break the... Um, yeah, now, yeah, look at the length of the span right there. I don't want to really... I don't want to bust up this neighborhood too much. So, well, let's do that. Let me get rid of the trees. Now, I, I tried to load a... I tried to pick up another mod right before I started. Uh, the forest brush, which allows you... I can use the forest brush and delete a large section of trees at once, but it said it wasn't currently working or is broke, so I just elected not to do it. Oh, boy. So the problem I have here is this. All right, I'm going to have to remember... Oh, there's a train coming! I didn't think this was uh, working. <laughs> Crap. Well, I'm so sorry, people on this train. What I have to do, I'm going to bring this all the way back here. I'm going to bring it to right there, and then I will rerun this. We're not using the trains yet. We're, once I start this neighborhood, we're going we're gonna to hit 5,000 fairly soon. I'll put it back in, but I'm just going to leave it not in for right now i that's how i'm gonna handle it and then i've got to line this up if possible oh boy i have to change up this this a little bit uh, let's go back up to ground level here what i'm going to do i've got to rework this a little because this intersection uh, these uh highways are tight i actually prefer them like this Oh, we also got some oddball zoning. I don't want anything popping in here. Let's get, get rid of that. So as you know, I am not... <laughs> I'm not that good with uh, placing intersections. We're going to lose this house right here. And I'm kind of trying to use the, the cars down here to get this lined up. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose. Going to lose that. I th think that's okay. Oh, I forgot I had like trees and bushes here. So, um, let's take this back a little more because I want this to be a bit gentler. And I'm also going to I'm going to uh, use the sound barrier here. I'm going to upgrade this these roads by using the uh, exclamation tool here. It helps a little. Yeah, so there's a lot of custom stuff this guy did, and I appreciate that. So we're not going to be able to upgrade all of it, but this will help with noise a little bit. It's not, not that big of a deal. It looks kind of weird like that, but can I use it here? Yeah. So I used no mods when I was... I don't... What Did I use mods? I may have used mods when I was creating this thing here. All right. 
Now, let's see if I can work. Oh, that's I got to change that. Let's see if I can tie this back in. I'm going to have to spread these out a little bit. The best way to do this, honestly, is just to redo the bridge. And I don't really want to redo the bridge. Because <laughs> it was perfect. But if I don't spread them out a little earlier, it's going to look a little bit weird. So let's see. Oh, no. What is going on here, man? What is going on here? Are these too close? Hold on, guys. Oh, my God. I, I'm going to have to purchase this tile. It's a good chunk of money right there. I had to purchase that tile to access this because these were uh, laid too tightly together. Okay. Oh, I see what... Oh, I didn't need to do that, man. So you see what's happening here. Uh, because these were laid in with a mod, with like Anarchy or the Road Tool, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem. I can't, I can't tie into this now because they're too close. How do I fix this? I think I'm going to have to get a, uh, I'm going to have to get the mod. Um, I'm going to have to get move it guys. I'm going to have to get move it to make this work. I've been wanting to get move it anyway. I'm not going to save the game there. I don't want to save the game. We're going to quit to the main menu. You guys want to watch what I'm doing here? Let me switch this to display capture. Uh, is that what I want to do? <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. Uh, this is the thing I saw here. Yeah, the five new things. Okay, got it. Some of the mods, yeah. So uh, there are some problems, apparently. I guess there was a big update to the game. I don't want to see that again. We'll just close that down. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to go into the workshop. Let me go into community. Oh, good. You guys can see what I'm doing here. Go into the community, uh, the community even. We're going to the workshop. And let's find Move It. Easily the best, one of the best ever made, this thing, man. Hopefully it's working. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to subscribe to it. Close out of there. If we go into um, Content Manager, into Mods, should be in alphabetical order. There it is. And it's automatically turned in, uh, turned on. Now, let me see. Do I have to restart the game? For this mod to work let's see okay uh oh right <laughs> damn it <laughs> because i didn't save none of it stuck uh, oh here's move it this is what move it looks like uh, wait, can you guys see this? Yeah, it's right right down here. This is what move it looks like. I might move me off the screen. This will allow me to I'll let's I'll show you. I'll give you an example if you've never used this. So these paths are way too high. I click move it, and I can click a node, and then with the page up and page down, I can move this stuff. I'm just using page up and page down. And you could readjust uh stuff like this. And it still works in the game. And I usually count how many I go down, but I can spread nodes. Um, I can move a node. I click and drag all kinds of wonderful stuff. So let's do this again. Oh, I got to break all this again. <laughs> I do. And. Okay, so. I'm going to purchase that. I don't have to purchase that one. I don't have to purchase that one. Let's bulldoze this. Need to get rid of those rocks because they'll, pro they, they'll be a problem. I'm going to take that all the way back to there. Okay. So now what I can do, I can use move it. I'll just grab one of these. 
just like that. Now I can actually fit the road on it. And I'll probably end up redoing this a little bit here. So if I go to, can you guys, right here, it's called toggle snapping. If that's selected, highlighted, it will, it will adjust the entire length. It will straighten it out automatically for me and make it a little bit better. But that's what I want. So let's go back to our picket tool, select the highway. Now I can get this in here, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's see what this is going to look like. We'll just use the cars here as a guide. I don't want it snapping down yet. Uh, let me actually turn off. Boy, oh boy, what am I doing? I'm so out of practice here. Resume the game. I'm going to turn off my everything. I'll just turn off everything here. I don't want it snapping up or down. I'm going to put it right there and we'll start coming down here. I'm trying to get it close. I'm going to have to change it up a little bit because with the intersection that I put in, um, it's going to have to be a little bit wider. Oh, it actually doesn't like that. Does it like it? No. But I do want to line these posts up. Let me line. I'm going to have to move this one over a little bit more here. No. Move this one a little bit. What? Let me turn. I want to untoggle snapping here because I, I don't want it snap up like that. And then I want toggle snapping back on for this node like that. I know it looks a little bit weird, but I would have to redo this entire length of road if I wanted to fix that. Uh, make it even the whole way. Now I can lay this in here. Can I not lay that in there? It's kind of what I want, but I also, I want to line these pillars up. It's not letting me do it. How do I do that? I think I've got to come from the same node here. It's going to put one there. Look at that. I can use move it. I can use move it to move the pillars. Yeah, i got to remember. So what I'll do... We're going to come this... We'll do like this. I'm going to drop that in. I've got to change the direction. I can move my use my move it to align these pillars back up. And also, I can put this back together if I wanted to. Let me change the direction of this road while I'm thinking about it. And I'm just right-clicking here with my tool. This tool... The exclamation point, whatever that is. Okay, now let me get my handy dandy thing that I created. And we'll throw it in here. I may not even have to break that house. I'm going to get as close as I can. Probably get, I should have laid this in first. Man, I'm such an idiot. I'm going to have to redo that whole thing again. That's okay. I We didn't have to break this. I know it's tight right there. And let's see here. No, I want this. Okay, move it. This is what, this is one of the things that makes this tool so awesome. You can just kind of do whatever you want. Give me that. I'll have to redo this. And that was a little bit weird right there. Just do that. I know it looks bad, but that's the wonderful... This is the awesomeness of this, this mod right here. You can just do that. And if I toggle... I'm going to toggle my snapping on. And what it'll do is it'll... Yeah, just what happened. It just puts it in a nice, neat line right there. Let me tie this back in before I forget. I want to use my freeform tool here, I think. I kind of hate how it handles, how the game handles um, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Turn everything off here. 
I'm trying to make this as natural as I can, this curve here. All right, that's not too bad. It's not how it was, but it's it'll work, right? And all of these trees... Uh, I'll leave those. But this really shows me how wonky I created this. I thought it was amazing. When I finished making this, I was like, this is awesome. But it's not, it's not that awesome, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's nice I get a little bit of a reef on there. Not much. This is how I should have played this right off the bat. Uh, these trees have to go. Uh, I need my straight road. What is a, let's see what that bridge looks like if we lay it in like that. Nah, I don't like that. So we'll come to here. I uh, need everything on so that it lines up. How do I do this? Do I want to come from this side? I think I am going to have to turn. What does that one look like? Oh my god, it's terrible. I am so bad at this. I'm so bad at bridges, man. Look at that. I hate it when this happens. This is going to be the whole episode <laughs> of me trying to do this. Well, this is part of the problem right here. This is I'm going to blame it on this. This is wonky. Let me level this. Yeah, uh, give me that. Let's level this up. And let's, let's crank this up a bit here. This will help out a little bit. I don't like those drops that, that happen when you get close to land. Let's check out this side. Oh boy, no wonder. Yeah, let's let's get this a bit better here. And then maybe I've got a little bit uh, more room to work here. Not room to work, but maybe it won't be so horrible. Okay, get a, got my things down. What I'm going to do is page up once. I'm going to keep, keep in mind where this is. I'm going to turn... Is it length, grid? It's probably angle. Yeah, turn off my angle. Keep everything else on. And I'll try to get this decent. Okay, I can live with that. I think I can live with that. If I put this here, like I said, I can move the pillars. And I can straighten that out. That's not too bad. It's not too good. <laughs> but it's not too bad. I grab this node, page up, and I can just force it to kind of line up a little bit better. All right, I can live with that. And let's use this one, the sound barrier. It, it also matches the bridge. When you use a sound barrier, it matches kind of because the bridge has like a natural rail to it. And for these pillars, I should be able to literally just grab this. Yeah, I can just move this over move them. I can change where they are and all that. Probably not perfect, but they're good enough for what we're trying to do. Alright. So it's a little bit wonky, but I think we can live with it. Now, what are we doing? No, I need the straight road tool. Will that fit under? It will. Will this one? It will. Okay. That was pretty rough to watch. I know. <laughs> I know that was not pleasant. I have never claimed to be a master uh, builder. I do my best. Okay. That was a lot of work to get a neighborhood in here, but I think it was necessary. And now I can come back if I wanted to. Let me turn snapping on. Let me see if I can. Oh, boy. 
I just can see if I can, yeah, just like that. I want to straighten them out just a little. And I see this is off a tad. But we can live with it, I think. And if I wanted to, I could adjust this, but I think I'm going to leave that like it is. Let me unpause the game. Let traffic jump back down onto the, the roads here. Oh, did you see that? All those cars shot across the bridge. I don't know what that was. Now, I have I got to remember, I have broken the railroad. I've got to put that in line. But honestly, it doesn't affect us because we're not using a railroad. It's just the other, the other cities around the world. They no longer have access to trains because of me. <laughs> How much time have I wasted? We are 30 minutes in. And this is pretty much all I've done. All right, so all of this... All of this was so that... Uh, we could get a neighborhood down here. Yes. And that's what we're going to do. Hopefully that... That... Um, that forest brush mod uh, is working soon because it would be nice to lay trees in here. Yeah, you can see how bad this is, like how crooked. I thought I did an amazing job, but I'm going to leave it alone. I don't want to waste any more time on that. So, and this is horrible. But the whole point of all of this was neighborhood. We're going to have a neighborhood coming down through here. So with the forest brush, as I mentioned... Uh, it would give me like this circle kind of thing. And I could just use it and delete a whole bunch of trees at once instead of doing what I'm doing now. Now, this was also potential place for our water treatment plant. We still might do it over here. But now I can get a neighborhood laid in here. And I'm going to pause and pick up a road here. And we're going to do everything's back on. Do I want to do a roundabout here? I meant to actually grab the roundabout builder here. I'll tell you what. Let's bring this down a little bit more. I don't like my intersections too close. I'll bring it down to there. That's I'm gonna have that's gonna have to go. Whoops. Get rid of these trees right here. Yeah, this is a really inefficient way to do it. It's also really loud listening to the bulldozer. How bad is the ground right here? Let me take a moment. I said I wasn't going to kind of mess with this. But I I don't want water standing out here uh, on the road like this. I'm going to back this one up a little bit. I just want to clear these pockets up because it's like the marsh land out here. I don't, I don't really want this as a marsh land area. This I'm going to leave where the train was. And I will unpause, let the water do its thing. I'm going to do triple speed here. Also, if you use one, two, and three on the keyboard, <clears throat> you can adjust your speed that way as well. So let me let this water all boogie on out of here. We good? I think we're good. It wasn't that much water there in the first place, so. Okay. Now, back to what I was doing. Let me grab a road here. It got wet, so it's shiny. So we'll use this this intersection right here. Bring it out this way. Do I want to go off that way? I don't think we'll go off that way. But we're going to have a neighborhood down through here. And we'll come this way. May as well take advantage of the space I have. And we're going to kind of respect the topography. Well, I don't want to say the topography, but how this road is laid in. I'm going to try to match what's going on over there. But I also want to think about an intersection here to allow people who work in this area, they can walk over. Hopefully they will walk. They might drive. Uh, we'll find out. Let's see how I want to tie this in. I think what I'll do is I'll come out. And then I'll just do that. That might work. And not enough money. <laughs> oh my God, dude, I have $15. I have $15. <laughs> I've got to unpause. Holy moly. We're making a lot. This won't take long to jump up, but <clears throat> I spent a whole lot of money doing that. 
a whole lot of money. All right. Let me pipe in. The money's going to trickle in. Let me just... I'm going to start piping in here. Uh, this does have to tie in, so... That way I can start laying some more taxpayers in here is what I like to call them. Some people call them citizens. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. I was going to say, what is this guy doing? There's nothing down here for you, man. Houses. Now, we could do high residential over here. What do you guys think? What do, you, what do you guys think about high residential? I'm thinking we are going to do high residential over here. And one of the reasons is because I desperately... I, I got to get my money back here. So... I'm going to do... Do I want to zone under this road? I don't think I do. I'm going to do there. I'm going to do there. That's right. That's the kind of grammar you get on the channel. I'm going to do there. In fact, I'm going to do there. I'm going to leave that. What am I doing? Does anybody know what I'm doing? I want to do that. Because this will probably be commercial down here. This should completely, that little bit, I would assume, is going to wipe out that high demand because they really pack them in. And I'm going to do low density commercial here. But on this side, I think we're going to do our first little pocket of high density. And I don't want to zone up to this four lane. So I'm just going to do that. You don't want your high density stuff near your residence, even if the residents are high density. It doesn't work that way. It will cause noise pollution. And this actually still might be too much. In fact, what I might do right here, let's call a mulligan there. I'm going to put offices right here to help with that. And let's take this down to Funky Town, which is one speed. Now, I'm going to need a school. I'm going to need all that stuff. i just kind of waiting for my money to jump up. And if we hit 5,000, uh, I can get the train, the train running. So it's definitely probably going to be next episode before we start messing around in here. And also, I'm going to try to have like a long-term plan about how I want this neighborhood to roll. I'm going to come to there. I just kind of wing it. I always have. Like, I never pre-plan for the most part. I hardly ever pre-plan anything. You're like, oh, we know. <laughs> we know. Um, I think we'll have a, a, a large section right here of high density. And it, it pretty much ate up the demand, but there's still a little bit. But before we go further, I wanna we I'm gonna get my schools in here. I don't have money, man. I, I need at least an elementary school in here, but I also need. Let me put another crossroad in. Should have put a crossroad in first, but uh, I didn't. Mulligan. Um, yeah, I may as well. I guess I can do that. That's those intersections are nice and wide, and then what I can do here. Just to take advantage of the zoning since it's laid in. Except for that one. It's not going to work out, but that's okay. doesn't matter. I'm not going to put one there. I'm not going to uh, do that. Make the road. Because I, I don't want the intersection too close. Yes. Okay. Can I afford a school? Okay. We're, we're, we're cranking. We're getting money again. Schools are expensive, but I need to at least get an elementary school and look at that. That works pretty damn well. Now, I can't afford anything else right now. But I want to get the high school. How much do I need? Um, 24. Can I take out a loan? Take. Oh, I, I have a... Oh, I have two loans. No, I have one loan out. I'm going to take this one. I'm just going to take it. <laughs> so I can get a high school in. Oh, let's put a high school on the other side of the road here. Actually, we'll put it over here. Okay. So I wanted to get those in right away because I have got some offices here and we might continue offices around the outside. I don't know. We'll see. But offices, I believe, require educated workers. 
I guess. All right, we can drop in uh, some more high density stuff. Oh, I have not piped in here. Consider yourself piped in, sir. There we are. Leave a little space. Well, we'll come to there. Do the same thing. And this whole area, this whole section. Hold on. Let me look at parks real quick. Can I, I can't afford a dog park. I can't afford anything, man. It's so expensive. I just need five grand for the dog park. I wouldn't mind having a little dog park. Can't get it there. I think we're going to put a dog park in. I'm going to put it in while I can afford it. It'll help the land value out here. And then I'm going to block in all this. I think I'm going to go offices here. Is what I'm going to do. Because of this high density. Commercial offices act as a natural sound barrier. Let me see if it'll show, give us an example here. So we look at noise. You can't really tell. But it, it helps. If these were also filled in, uh, it, it will help. Unless that's changed. I hope it hasn't changed. We'll keep an eye on it. Also going to need a fire department over here. Fire department is more important than uh, anything else. Garbage is a problem. They're going to... Our garbage is here. So how... Uh, they'll just come down this way. They'll jump on the highway here. And then they'll jump off here. We're just going to have to deal with it for right now until we start making some more money. Um, I'm going to leave that open, I think. Let's fill in here. And then all this is going to be blocked in with high residential. I purposely like to leave little paths like this or little spaces. The reason is because I can do this. I can go to my walking paths and uh, drop them in just like that. Maybe people can cut across. Probably should have put in a few more, but I didn't put in a few more. The demand is high. I will say that. The residential. Yes, it is. Got our schools in. Educating our people and whatnot. Let's keep filling in. Go four by four there. Four by four here. Take it all the way down. And then we'll have a row of... Um, we'll do low-density commercial here. Is that what I want to do there? I think I do. I think I do. Again, citizens, they, they don't mind the noise from the low... But actually, let me do that. Oh, man. Missed my opportunity. I'm going to put a path in there path if it's perfectly I can say can I not lay that in there surely I can I'll just do that because we can and then we'll do a little a little thing there a little thing back here put an office what do I want to do it I think I'm going to do that. Let's see if we we'll get some funky stuff there, and I'll do that. And then I can continue my path right here. Oh, come on. It'll let me. Okay, not what I wanted to, to happen, but I, I think that's fine. Now, if I turn off my snapping, I should be able to get one here as well. Yeah, we'll do that. Forty-five minutes. We have to wrap this up. Now, what I wanted to do, and I did not, I wanted to apply a district theme here, but it's a little bit too late. I, The next neighborhood we build, I'm going to try to do that because I did grab, I think it's like a tropical district theme. I think, let me actually look. Let me, um, let me look here. Let me grab this one. I'm not going to apply it. Yeah, I've got a Mediterranean Isle. So the way that I, I looked at this, once you have an area, um, do I want to say zoned in? What are these things called? District. Once you create a district over an area, 
Uh, you can click on the title and then you get default style here. And you can download these from the workshop, different themes. So if I chose Mediterranean, well, I don't want to do that with this neighborhood because everything would start disappearing. The whole, all of these houses would go away, essentially. And uh, we don't want that. But you can apply it and then any house that pops up in that area, and if you have the commercial and and all that, those will also, they'll share a similar theme. All the houses will look kind of, they'll look a little bit different. We might do that. And some of the themes apply to low, medium, and high. Um, not uh, the, the, the level of the house. I think it applies. Some of those themes, it only applies at like level one or level three or whatever. I can't remember how high. Is it one? There's five levels. So so some of the themes that you'll only see it at like level five or four or something like that. I don't actually remember. We've not used them that much on the channel. But that, we have no more demand for residential. I'm, I'm making my money back here. We're making like six grand a week. We're uh, we're going to hang. We're going to hold on to the episode because we're, we... Oh, why didn't we hit? We hit 5,000. Why didn't I see the unlock here? Oh, I don't have money. No, I have money. Oh, 5,500. Okay, I thought it was 5,000. So, well, um, can we get 500 people before we call it? I don't know. I don't know if we can. Oops. Let me look at my junctions right here. Um, does that warrant a stop sign? If I mean, a, a light? It probably does, right? But I'm just going to do that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll just get a stop sign there. It's not a. It's just, you would not see this in real life. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Coming off a highway like this, pretty sure that wouldn't be a thing. These people have no stop sign here, and people are. I mean, what you would see uh, probably there would be a light here, but there could this could also be a flashing light. They don't have those in the game. Essentially a yield if you're making a left, you yield to traffic. But I don't even think that would be a thing because you have a, like a median here. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. We're not going to get into it. Um, Yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up. I don't think we're going to hit. I mean, if I stayed here long enough, let me increase the speed. I'll do triple speed. We are gaining citizens down here a little bit. I wouldn't mind hitting it, but we'll maybe just save it for next episode. But we did... Get a new neighborhood in. And this neighborhood is hopefully going to support our industrial area, which hopefully we'll get to next episode. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. We'll wrap it up. I'll take it. There you go. We'll fab this Thunderbirds for you. What I might do off camera <laughs> is adjust is readjust these roads. I love the highways when they're tight like this. I I mean, the space is fine, too. I actually like the space in real life. But in this game, I like the highways uh, to be kind of tight like that. But um, anyway, let's do a little of this. A little view of our wonky highway. See how nice and tight that is this guy laid in? He probably used the parallel road tool, I'm assuming, is what he used. Anyway, glad to be back. Wait, what happened here? Why am I on this side? I should be on this side. I don't know what happened there. I have two different scenes. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. I have still not read comments from like four episodes, three or four episodes ago. I'm going to do that today. So if you've left a comment about like Subscriber Island or just anything in general, uh, you should start seeing comments come in today because today is New Year's Eve for me. This video comes out tomorrow. So I should be caught up now hopefully. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. You guys and gals, take care. I will see you in the next episode. Peace. Happy New Year.